Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people attempt to do a balayage moment on their own hair. You guys know every time people try to do that, they always find some weird way of doing some weird shit. That makes no sense. I'm ready to see a lot of that today. And I'm ready to see some interesting little creative techniques on doing balayage at home. It's always wacky as hell, but that's what makes it fun to watch, right? I'm feeling like a bad mother bitch today. I'm gonna be honest with you. This jacket's making me feel really bitchy. So I'm ready to take it out on all of you. I'm sorry in advance. This video is by Deandra Nunnery. Today I'm gonna be doing a more trendy highlighting look. I'm gonna do like the more dramatic front two pieces with like subtle highlights back here and then just refreshing and adding a few more highlights in underneath. Ooh, okay Deandra. We're going a little trendy this time, huh? Deandra, come here Deandra. Good luck. <laughs> I'm skeptical that that plan is going to work, but I've seen crazier shit happen on, on this series of hairdresser reacts. What do I know? As always, I will be using this Revlon Frost and Glow Honey Highlighting Kit just because I like the more brunette, warm undertones in my hair. I still wanna be brunette, but just lighter and bright. Okay, I mean, the results do look nice on her. I will say, it's okay to use color to lighten your hair as long as you're lightening natural hair. I mean, whatever, fine, I guess. It's the idea people trying to like formulate with a box dye and lighten their hair with it. It's just so sketchy. From here, I'm going to part in half and we're gonna highlight the bottom. And then again, my temple area on this side. She has beautiful hair. Guys, are you seeing this head of hair? It's gorgeous. Holy shit. Okay, I have the bleach mixed. A what? So it is bleach. Okay, well then you might as well just go and buy some bleach instead of that box. You just buy a tub of bleach and you'll just have it all the time. And you probably spend more money on the box dye than you would on the bleach. It's not adding up. Deandra. The bleach is actually like a tinted blue color. That's because blue lifts and tones out red. It tones out orange, miss, not red. The technique that I will be using is this comb technique. What is this contraption? This looks fun. I want to try that. I don't want to add too many highlights, so I am going to use the bigger side. But as you can see, this comb, which I get on Amazon, does give you several options. Fun. On how you want your highlights to look, but I'm just gonna start in the front. <laughs> I'm intrigued. It's actually gonna separate the hair for you right here. Just running my finger through the top portion and grabbing that top portion, and I'm gonna highlight this section right here. Oh my god, I've always seen combs like this, but I've never tried one, and I feel like it's like, for professionals, it's like embarrassing to use one, but like, I wanna try it. I'm not going all the way to the top because I do want a blended, painted balayage look. <laughs> Is that bleach on her hands? <laughs> Deandra, get the gloves, girl. So I'm gonna start maybe like an inch away from my roots and i'm gonna blend down and you want to blend right here at the root so you don't have a harsh line not the worst worst idea she's just putting a little bit of lighter on she's using her fingers and she's really getting that in there and then blending at the top that may give you some decently diffused highlights that are not too light it might work fine again not a professional. I'm done with the bottom. I just went ahead and grabbed these clips to just like clip these pieces down just so that they don't get in my way. You guys gotta be careful when putting those foils in because you can't be crunching them and scrunching them or else you're gonna get like dottiness all over the lightened piece. And nobody likes a dotty bitch. I wanna make sure that the two front strands that I do are the same and I'm gonna give them extra time to process. Here's the moment of truth when she does the top because everybody sees the top of your head. I'm gonna do those parts first and then I'll probably just work my way back. So I'm gonna be a little dramatic with it. It says her second mistake. <laughs> oh no. No, not the front piece is being a mistake. That's the worst. That looks 
pretty even to me. Those are some chunky front pieces. Very even though. I am going way higher on these parts than I will on the rest of my hair. Don't your fingers burn? Do you just have no fingerprints anymore? Let me send you a box of gloves. You guys, that is the closest that I've gotten to my root ever. Those are gonna be intense. She actually looks like she did a good job though. So where's the mistake? I'm just going to repeat the comb process through the back of my hair. I don't think I'm gonna go as high as I did on the bottom. And we're going right behind it with another very high highlight. It's looking scary. Um, I just have a feeling this is gonna be very patchy looking. It has been about 45 minutes since I finished the last strand. Whoa, she's got a lot of foils in there. <laughs> Ooh, we're going blonde blonde. I just went through my whole head after I did the two bangs with the comb, just like I did on the bottom. Now I'm going to pull out the foil and just make sure that all the color matches. Oh, it's looking blonde. And this part where the foil is looks kind of harsh. Just a bit. What could work better next time is if you directed the hair upwards and then painted it all going up and then brought it back down. That'll help you get more of a diffused look because you're over directing and then putting it back in place. Uh, I thought I blended it. I might actually just add a little bit of bleach like right in here. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh, it looks stripey. Just like let it blend and I'll probably leave it for 10 minutes just so that it blends just right in here. Just so that this lightens up. But I did want you guys to see my results from using the bigger side of the comb. Oh no. I just knew that I couldn't live with the two front pieces that I did. I was wanting something a little bit more subtle. I know the two big chunks are pretty trendy right now, but I'm not that trendy. <laughs> These two chunks are just too chunked. Too chunked for life. Let's not go that chunky. It's getting a little stripey in there. Both sides of my head were drastically different as far as placement. I just wasn't willing to bleach again to try to get them equal. Oh yeah, I saw that. It's not very even on both sides. Ooh, ah. Whenever you're coloring your hair, make sure you guys go from this side to that side. Go back and forth. That way you know that you're putting the same exact highlight in the same exact place on both sides. All right, you guys. So this is what my hair looks like now. What happened? I did the two pieces a little too thick for my liking. And if I personally would have tried to fix it with bleach, I would have had to even it out throughout like the tops. No. I ran to Walmart, picked up this $2 Revlon Color Silk hair dye, and honestly, it did the trick. <sighs> We spent all that time and did all that work. Yeah, it might have not come out great, but we could have fixed it a little bit, you know? But then we just ended up going to Walmart and getting some box dye and putting it over everything and covering all that work, everything we just put into it. I mean, your hair does look good. It looks very nice, but damn. Next time, we need a better result. <laughs> next time, don't go up so high in the front, first of all. Next time, do a little teasing maybe at the root. That would also help your situation. Over direct it upwards, all things like that will help diffuse your balayage and will give you a much better result. <sighs> that was that was tragic. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna show you guys how to do what she just tried to do, but actually accomplish what she set out to do. Let me show you. Miss Manny Quinn is here and she's looking fabulous, but she's gonna look even better in a minute. But first, I wanna thank L'Oreal Professionnel and Metal Detox for sponsoring this segment of this video. It's time to give Miss Manny Quinn beautiful money pieces in the front of her hair and just all around gorgeous, nice, natural balayage. Like the girl in the video before this tried to do, but kind of failed. So first I'm taking one of my favorite products, you guys already know, Metal Detox, and spraying it all over the hair about eight inches away. This stuff is great, it's quick and easy to apply, and by the time you mix up the color or your lightener, it all dries into the hair. Squirt, 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 spray, 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 get it in there, and look, already dried. So while I'm sectioning the hair, let's talk about what Metal Detox is. Metal Detox is incredible for any lightning or color service. It actually neutralizes the metals in your hair so they can be washed away. 
metals in the hair can cause unreliable color results and we don't want that ever. So once we get our halo section going, you guys know I love this sectioning, we're gonna go around the perimeter and start lightening. And obviously we're gonna focus on the front of the hair and make that the lightest. I'm starting there, that way that is the punchiest piece on the entire head. And the lightener sits on that piece for the longest. I'm doing this sort of bricklay pattern all over her hair so she gets dimension and I don't lose too much of that darkness in between the highlights. I love a dimensional highlighted look and the girl we just watched was definitely trying to achieve that. Blend, 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 paint, 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 beautiful. And you'll notice as I keep painting, I'm really diffusing those highlights. I'm only going really close to the hairline at the front of her head because we need that money. Also, you can see that I'm fully saturating each piece of hair so that she gets an incredible pop of color wherever I apply the lightener. All right, she has processed. It's looking light, it's looking good. Now let's rinse and shampoo with our Metal Detox shampoo. It smells so good, by the way. And let's condition with the Metal Detox mask. Woo, her hair is feeling silky and fresh. And of course, with Metal Detox, you get 87% less breakage and 100% reliable color results. Metal Detox gives you reliable color results no matter the type of color, balayage, or lightening service. And it's compatible with all color and lightening brands. After that, we toned her hair, styled it, and bam! Healthy, vibrant, sexy, glorious balayage. It's seriously stunning. I mean, look at how shiny her hair is from that Metal Detox. And um, look at just like how clear the highlights are. Like it's just so even all over. It's fabulous. It's really quite simple to get the look that the girl in the video before this was trying to get. And this is how you do it. And thank you, L'Oreal Professional, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I hope that helped. This next video is by Sierra Dorsey. We're dyeing my hair. Ooh, balayaging some curly textured hair is not easy, and it takes a lot of skill, but I'm anticipating a fail. I'm sorry to set you up for failure, but I am. We're going to turn brown, and then pow, it has some blonde highlights. Okay, hold on. So I think that she's trying to go all around like a more light brown color and then put highlights on top. But the issue here is that we pulled out two box dyes, which is an issue in and of itself. Also adding on top of that, the other issue is that we're not using lightener. And typically color does not love color, except sometimes it does and whatever. That's a story for another time. I just don't see anything really happening here. I don't know. Unless there's bleach in that box dye kit. My bleach, my hair dye. It says she didn't use bleach. Okay. <sighs> Listen, I'm giving you some major main character energy today with this jacket. I know I am. Oh, who gave me this hot tea? I want it 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very hot. My sister and I are just picking random pieces of my hair to dye brown. I wanted the brown to be kind of throughout my hair. Oh! So that the blonde could contrast better against the brown than my just natural black hair. Okay, there's a lot of issues with this. She might get a decent result. I will say that. First of all, you can just do them all at once. You don't need to do two different days. There's really no point. It's just gonna take you longer. And you could have just put all the low lights and highlights in at the same time. So maybe do that next time. Also, it's actually a disadvantage by doing it in two days because once she rinses this off, how is she gonna know where she previously put the other color? Well, I don't, whatever. Let me just watch a little more. I told you, I'm in a combative mood today, so I can't stop yelling at the camera. Oh, I love these foils. <laughs> okay, another thing, you don't need to use foils. You're using color that's like one shade lighter than your hair, two shades lighter than your hair. It's gonna be fine. The hair will not touch the other hair, and if it does, it's not gonna be a big deal. Just save the foils, save the planet, is what I'm trying to say. So her friend and her are basically just taking random sections, <laughs> putting that box dye on it, putting that foil on there, and just letting it sit. Just letting it marinate. We got it all in here. It is definitely a look. You can see the brown spots. Oh, that's a good look. What the f***? <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> the only thing that makes me feel worse is when nothing happens. Literally give me nothing. That kind of feeling. Like, give me nothing. Thank you. Great. No. Brad Mondo wants something. It can either be a really bad result, a really good result, but don't do nothing. What I'm doing is... First, of course, I put my hair in sections. And what I'm going through to find are pieces that I want to put the blonde on and then braiding up or plaiting up the pieces that I don't want to put blonde on. It's not a great technique because with natural textured hair like hers, you're going to want to do something that's more of like an ombre rather than a balayage. Usually, not all the time, okay? I will say. You so easily can get like stripes. Like, I don't know how to explain it better than that, but like often 
people with texture like this end up with really stripy highlights if you just kind of go in and add them in. You need to really diffuse those highlights to make them look good. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so she's literally going through her entire head and picking out the pieces she's gonna highlight <laughs> and braiding up the rest. Hopefully she doesn't overlap um, the next color with the old color because it will not work, but I'm sure she will. We're gonna deal with that. I didn't want any of the back pieces to be brighter than the front or the front to be super bright and the back not to be bright enough. I wanted them to all be the same color and kind of get the chance to be the same color by being on my hair the same amount of time so luckily when it comes to permanent color which is what you're using there's a max processing time so you know whatever it says on those boxes I think it's probably 45 minutes or, or to an hour maybe of uh, processing time that is the max time that it's going to continue to develop the color so after that it's just gonna stop and your hair will all be one color you can leave a permanent color on your hair for as long as you want like literally six hours if you really wanted to and it will not change color after the first hour and it will not cause any more damage it really doesn't matter how long you take you could take six hours doing this and it'll still all be the same color in the front and the back and the side and everything it feels like this is a waste of time i'm not convinced anything's gonna happen you know what actually something could happen because she's coloring a lot of her natural hair right now it'll be blonde but i just don't know about this pattern i don't know about it i don't know there's a lot of things i don't know in life there's a lot of things that i don't know like what am i literally doing on earth right now well that got too deep let's get back to the video oh they're making their way around the head putting those foils in going to town it's kind of a look like i'm gonna be honest with with all these foils like why have we not get we got like a vogue cover with somebody with a bunch of foils in their hair like come on you have to say that would be chic looks crazy right now but hopefully it looks good in 15 minutes yeah 15 minutes. yeah we got 15 minutes on the clock okay We washed it with some, what's that stuff? Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer lights. lights. Yeah. Oh. To tone it down some. I do have some toner, but I really don't think we need it. Okay, we tried to tone it with purple shampoo. Okay, it looks a little green. Maybe don't tone your hair with purple shampoo next time because uh, it's just not the right thing for this scenario. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. I'm interested to see it dry. So far, looking a little bit stripey, just a little bit. I'm gonna be on, I'm always honest with you guys, come on. Um, I love it. It's still dark, but we have some pops. Yeah, that's it. I really like it. Okay, it's not bad. Just wanna say that, like you look great, obviously, like beautiful. But for the amount of time and the amount of effort we put into that, I was expecting a little bit more. Come on, give us more lighting. <laughs> Next time I highly recommend using some lightener, which is like 20 volume. Don't leave it on too long and definitely time yourself with that and just get a little more lightness in there, especially on your ends. Like I would love to see them super bright and then some of those highlights diffuse into your hair. But that's a little bit harder to do. And uh, the box color didn't, didn't do much, which, was expected, but good try. I wasn't quite there. We'll do better technique next time, right? Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Another couple of balayage fails. It seems like most people cannot get that right, I will say. That is the one thing that like people try at home, it just never goes right. It's a very complicated thing to do, even for a hairstylist. So chill, all y'all at home trying to do it. Maybe just don't next time. If you guys like to follow me anywhere else, here are my social media handles for you. Also X Mondo social media handles, so you can get hair inspiration and glorious vibes. A lot of vibes over there on those social media media pages. Everything is also linked below for you. So if you want to vibe with me more, check out the next video. If you don't, that doesn't feel good for me. It feels kind of awful, but I'll live. I'll also subscribe. That'd be cool. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.